things such as the passing of the, well, the, the repealing of the Glass-Steagall Act, which kind of takes away the barrier between uh, um, commercial banks and investment banks. And some of the deregulation allowed, set the stage for what we're seeing right now. Um, it didn't happen during the Bush years. That was Clinton. That was your guy. Okay. So before you, you say those things, get your facts straight. And we know what happened um, during the Bush years with further uh, continued uh, deregulation and, and, you know, with derivatives allowed to run wild and all of those things. And those things uh, have been even allowed to go further under the current administration um, by, by even continuing to give the Fed uh, even more power and, and not even, you know, uh, 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 going after some of the real people responsible for this, you know, and correct me if I'm wrong, those were Democrat, Republican, and Democrat administration. So you can't sit here and just say that. Just understand that it's not just one party, it's both parties. And they're working together for an aim uh, and a goal that doesn't include you or I, okay? And the thing about it, what you what you need to understand, America, is that you need to stop being good Democrats and good Republicans and start being good people, start being good America. Don't support someone because of, of the logo that they wear on their lapel or, or because you live in a red state or a blue state. You know, don't look at that. Look at, at, at what they stand for. Look at what they're really saying. Look at who... Who's backing them? Who's financing these people? Who, who are they getting their money from? That can tell you a lot. You know, an and, and, and old uh, axiom is follow the money. You want to know where someone's allegiance will lie or does lie? Follow the money. And you can look at, at anything. And, and now with that recent uh, Supreme Court decision that's going to allow uh, unlimited uh, funds from, from corporations, you best believe that uh, it's going to be even more out in the open who, who, who these people are, are bought and paid for by. We know they're, they're bought and paid for. Um, you know, now we'll know. Because what's going on is that these people, both Democrat and Republican, um, they're, not, they're not representing what we want and what our interests are. They're beholden to their corporate masters. You know, the people... Who, who financed them, who bought and paid for them. And you need to understand that, you know, rather than, than, than every two, four, and six years, you get motivated not to necessarily <clears throat> vote for a person because they're better, but because, uh, you know, you're voting against this party or, or vice versa. And you saw that in, the, in, the, in the, the last presidential. I talked to so many people who didn't like either candidate, I mean, I, and let me let me rephrase that, either major candidate, because what the the corporate-controlled mainstream media and the, and the two parties won't tell you is that there was over 10 people who ran for president, you know? And I myself attended many of these debates that, that they had because they weren't allowed to come in to, to debate against... Uh, the, the Republican and the, the Democratic candidate, you know, McCain and Obama, they weren't allowed there. And at those debates, they hit on more issues in, in one debate than McCain and Obama did than all the ones they had combined. Um, so 